On the outside, it looks like another average housing option in the city of Marquette. And on the inside, it may look like that too. But what the public may not know is that the rent for these houses is income based. The Marquette Housing Commission maintains two different affordable housing options, Pine Ridge Apartments and Lake Superior Village. But what exactly is income-based or affordable housing? It means that you have an opportunity to rent a decent and safe affordable housing um, based on your income instead of what the market bears. If you're a family that's making $20,000, you can rent the same apartment that somebody making forty dollars or $50,000 can. So it gives you a real good opportunity to be able to rent a better quality apartment at a lower price. Many people associate income-based or affordable housing with low-income housing, which isn't the case. Calling it low-income housing, oftentimes people uh, see that as no income, but we're really income-based, so having income actually is a part of our uh, industry. The income limits are astoundingly high for you to qualify for income based housing, especially for this area. In the Marquette area, a family of four needs to have a household income of $48,500 or less to qualify for affordable housing. For many years I was in that boat and I probably should have been here and wished that I would have um, had applied years ago. In fact, some see income-based housing as a way to start over. Kaylee Comment and her family have been living in one of the units at Lake Superior Village for about two months. We owned our home before. And um, just we needed to kind of start over, um, rebuild credit kind of thing. This seemed to be the place where we could probably save a little money and kind of secure the future for now. Comment also lived in Pine Ridge when she was an 18-year-old single mother before being able to afford her first home, so she was already familiar with the property. Another reason the family chose Lake Superior Village was because of its convenient location to their old house. The girls grew up in this neighborhood, um, and they didn't want to move um, out of city, you know, to have to switch schools or anything like that. So it was actually pretty convenient that we could just come here, which was right around the corner. Um, all their friends are still in the area. So it wasn't, um, you know, as bad of a change for them as it possibly could have been. Sherry and Eric Kromberg also chose income-based housing because of convenience. The couple has been living at Pine Ridge for seven years. Their first experience with Pine Ridge was actually through Eric's mother. We would come and spend time as well as as her health started to decline, spent more and more time here um, helping her. And it got to the point where um, she was not able to be here by herself. The Krombergs then applied to live at Pine Ridge and were accepted. So the couple moved in with Eric's mother into a two bedroom apartment. Although she no longer lives with them, Eric and Sherry have remained in the same apartment to this day. And it allows us to have a real, a real quality of life. Eric is able to do work in the building for a rent stipend, which gives us a little more extra money for uh, necessities. And, and we're both uh, working on our health, so it helps us to provide good food. The affordable housing experience can be different for couples or single individuals and families. Typically, those who qualify for two, three, or four-bedroom apartments live in Lake Superior Village, while one-bedroom apartments are maintained at Pine Ridge. Between the two properties, there are 257 spaces for people to live in. One myth of living in income-based housing is that the properties are junky or cheap. We're increasing the quality of the housing. We're doing some updates, um, some new cabinets, flooring. Um, so we're really just making a real effort to be not only physically better, but also personally better. The Market Housing Commission also employs a second to none maintenance staff. We offer 24 hour access to maintenance if need be. We do annual inspections to make sure the apartments are um, in good quality and all in good repair. And so we do them annually as well as respond to any tenant who requests or lets us know if something's not working properly. Another myth is that living in affordable housing is a permanent situation. You're really not seeing that. Um, for example, I can tell you that six tenants bought homes this summer after leaving Lake Superior Village. So it was a great opportunity. So where people sometimes think that this is the last step, for a lot of people, this is the first step as they get into becoming more independent. Of course, there are positives and negatives for income-based housing. According to Sherry Kromberg, the benefits of living in income-based housing are numerous. We have a secure mailbox, the building is secure, um, laundry facilities right here in the building. It's a real community, so it's, you know, it's what you make of it. Uh, if you put in a lot in the building, then you get a lot out. If you want to just come in and be by yourself, you can do that as well. For Comment and her family, many things are included in their rent, so they only have to keep track of one payment. It takes away from the stress of, you know, like on top of three kids worrying about all the 
you know, other expenses and, you know, utilities and other bills that come with the cost of living period. Fogaroli and Mackey believe that the real benefit comes along with rent being truly income based. And if you're out in the private market and you lose your job, your landlord's still going to charge you $900 a month for that two bedroom here in Marquette. Um, if you have a two bedroom through ours, it's going to be strictly based on how much money you're making at the time. So that's a huge advantage to families. As for drawbacks, both tenants and housing commission staff agree that the pros greatly outweigh the cons. The vending machine down in the lobby can be a detriment sometimes. So, you know, really there, uh, there are very, very few downsides that I can even think of. I haven't really came across any yet. Everything has so far been ran pretty smoothly and, and going pretty well. Hopefully this is the right decision, which so far it has been. I perceive the drawbacks as being similar to any other lease um, where most landlords ask, you know, are, are you employed? We ask, what is your employment? Um, and we ask for additional documentation to verify employment. The only way to find out if you or your family is eligible for income-based housing is to fill out the application, which is available on the Market Housing Commission's website or at either location. The process may be thorough, but comment in the Krombergs think the end result is the right choice for them and their families. It's an adjustment. You know, obviously the girls share a room and, you know, that sort of thing. But, I mean, I guess it just brings us closer together. Our grandson, he's 10, loves to come over here and ride in the elevator. And it's a good, safe place for him to be. And, you know, we know we're, where we're going to be. Reporting in Marquette, I'm Alyssa Lambert for ABC 10 and the CW5.